upcoming South African projects? What can we expect? The Vale River and the Vestfits, both of those uh, areas are very important. So we're looking at fairly significant projects over the life of the projects, probably in excess of US a billion dollars in each area to develop. But that adds probably somewhere between 20, 10 to 20 million ounces in terms of recoverable gold over the long term. So they're long term projects taking the life of those operations in the 20 to 30 years range and keeping us a very strong contributor in South Africa. So very important, very central pieces to our two regional strategies. And as I said, uh, we want to be producing gold in the long term in South Africa. They're integral to the strategies in both areas. Uh, firstly, uh, you've got to put the capital infrastructure in place and that's what those strategies are about but we're also about changing our operating practices in a range of areas to improve our cost competitiveness and that's what Robbie and the team and that's our project one and the third leg is technology you've got to really look at trying to remove people from those areas of risk to ultimately get to zero fatalities in fact zero accidents which is what we're all about so it's three legs it's capital infrastructure it's our productivity improvements within our existing business and obviously the development of new technologies drilling um, actual seam extraction, all those technology of things we're looking at in the five to ten year time frame. In the gold space we're one of those unique companies that has a range of options whether it's uh, the expansion of our Seguri operations, it's the growth and development of, of Gator from its 270 up to 500,000 ounces, it's the development of a new deep mine uh, at Satiola, it's the two projects both open cut and underground in Kabali and Mongolu in the DRC, um, it's it's the development of our Tropicana project, which is a new uh, open cut development, which will more than double our Australian contribution. It's the development of a new large scale underground operation in Sunrise Dam. It's the development of a new operation, Caridia de Situ, in uh, Brazil. And it's the uh, building of a new milling facility and processing facility in the US. So we've got lots of options, which then doesn't include the greenfield things that we've got at La Colossa, Gramalote, and uh, some of the new emerging exploration finds we've had in a, in a number of places around the world. So really interesting and, and a wonderful growth pipeline. And so you're going for this uh, discovery and development strategy rather than an M&A strategy? Yeah, well for us because we've been so successful in exploration, because there's so much potential within the portfolio to improve what we're currently doing, we just see that as a much better place to put our money because we can get a three and four times better return on those developments than we have uh, as opposed to going in the market and paying what's being paid for assets at the moment. Now let me say that I still think the market is a reasonable place to buy um, gold targets because I think the gold price still has more room in terms of upside. However, when you can do it at a third the cost, why not put your money there?